Okay guys, today I will show you how to make a pure CSS animation effect for any kind of your page loading or your website loading or any kind of your document loading animation. Okay, I am not going to use any kind of JavaScript file for it. I am only going to use HTML file and CSS file. I have created a animation effect or page loading effect as you can see on your screen. Okay, now let's see how to create it. First of all, I am writing the code in the Sublime Text Editor. You can use any other text editor like Notepad++ or brackets or anything, whatever you want. Okay, I am giving it the title of Preloader. Pre okay. <clears throat> now I am linking the style sheet to the HTML and I am also referencing the address of that CSS file that is 13 underscore u dot CSS and I am also closing that link tag and inside the body tag I am opening a div tag and giving it id of loader and I am also closing it now I am saving it and you, as you can see that we need only one square so we have used only one div tag inside the main body tag okay now inside the CSS first of all we will give the background to the body we will give the background color of uh, you can say we can give black color and for the id of loader we are giving it the width of 20 pixels or we can give it for 40 pixels and height of 40 pixels now we are not giving it a border radius of 100% because it will create a circle of 40 pixels here we want a square of 40 pixels so we don't write the border radius and we will give the background color of red to the square and I will give the margin top to 300 pixels and margin left to 600 pixels this will centralize our animation because we don't want our animation to take place in on the top of the screen okay now I will give the animation I will give it the name of load it will last for 1.5 seconds the animation timing function is, is in out and it is for infinite time okay now that's it now for the keyframes keyframes the, no, the name of the animation is load and at 0% we will transform it and we will here write the perspective uh oh pers we will write the perspective to 120 pixel this property will create the 3d effect to our animation and we will rotate the x-axis by 0 degree as well as we will rotate our y to 0 degree at the start of the animation now we are copying this and pasting it two more times okay now at 50 percent we cap our perspective to 120 pixels and we want to rotate it our x-axis to 180 degree and we will keep our rotate rotation of y-axis to 0 degree now at 100% or at the end of the animation we will keep our perspective to 120 pixels and we will rotate our x-axis to 180 degree and as well as we will rotate our y y-axis to 180 degree because as you can see that uh, first of all when we repress it 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 rotate its x-axis by 180 degree and then it, it does not come back to 0 degree and then okay you can understand it okay then i'm going to save it and i'm going to open it in the browser okay now we can see this 
There is a very nice animation effect that is found in many document loading or website loading animation. Okay, that's it for this video. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to this channel. And if you have any doubts about this video or any previous video, you can comment in the below section. Okay, thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you in the next video.